Young Poland is considered by many the greatest period in Polish art history. The Young Poland movement is almost unknown here in Britain. Yet the parallels with the British arts, craft and design are unmissable. The display in William Morris Gallery will be the first chance for British public to see often unknown names, unknown beauty, and in the same time will be able to show the British public its reflection in Polish mirror. At the William Morris Gallery, we're really interested not just in Morris's own work, but also in thinking how Morris influenced uh, and was similar to movements of arts and crafts that were happening all across Europe at a similar time. So we're very interested in bringing those ideas um, to the William Morris Gallery and sharing them with audiences um, to discover the similarities, but also the differences between Morris's work and the work of international arts and crafts movements. At the Polish Cultural Institute, we're dedicated to bringing Polish arts and culture closer to the British audiences, making this project such a beautiful experience and true opportunity for us. In our ongoing partnership with the William Morris Gallery team, we had a pleasure to establish connections with key museums and art collections in Poland, opening doors and helping to bring curators, founding and scholars together. The National Museum in Kraków has the largest and the finest collection of young Poland art and this exhibition will bring, for the first time, such exuberant display of our masterpieces to London. The Young Poland Arts and Crafts Movement began in 1890. Poland did not exist as a state throughout the 19th century. In fact, as a result of unprecedented political catastrophe, it ceased to exist as a result of foreign invasion by the three neighbouring powers, Russia, Austria and Germany. The country only regained independence at the end of World War I after 123 years of oppression. People understood that culture would be the only way of preserving the nation's identity and um, that's how the Young Poland movement started, resulting in an unprecedented flourishing of all the arts, painting, sculpture, as well as the decorative arts and the revival of crafts. The movement drew inspiration from history, nature, as well as the peasant material culture. The Polish territory was subdivided between three oppressive powers, of which Russia and Prussia were the strictest. Uh, on the other hand, the Austrian authorities were more liberal, affording the Polish people a, a moderate level of freedom, uh, allowing a progressive patriotic movement like Young Poland to, to take shape. The movement in fact started in the historic city of Kraków and the nearby village of Zakopane in the wild Tatra mountains um, where people had even more freedom. One particular um, source of inspiration was the material culture of the Highlanders who were the indigenous population of the Tatra mountains and the village of Zakopane. They had long-term craft traditions of vernacular architecture, wooden carving, embroidery. Uh, their methods and their ornamentation um, inspired the young Poland artists a great deal. The Zakopane style is a form of decorative arts and material culture based on the visual culture of the Tatra Mountains. The Zakopane style was founded by Stanislav Witkiewicz. We don't know the exact relationship between Morris and Witkiewicz's work, but we do know that there is a huge amount of parallel between the two movements and the visual manifestations of their ideas. Stanislav Witkiewicz actually sent photographs of his work to John Ruskin, who is one of Morris's mentors and one of the founding influences of the arts and crafts movement in England. Ruskin was apparently very impressed by Witkiewicz's work, although unfortunately was too old to go and visit. 
Stanisław Wyspiański was arguably William Morris's counterpart uh, on so many levels, uh, not least in terms of both men's incredible versatility as interior decorators. Uh, Wyspiański de designed church, civic and domestic decorative schemes just like Morris did. Like Morris, Wyspiański was a polymath. He was able to produce work in a variety of different media, such as stained glass, textiles, uh, he did the interior design of domestic and churches, uh, and he worked across a variety of different media. Like Morris, he believed that it was important that an artist should be able to cut across all sorts of media in order to create the perfect interior. Two of the lesser known artists we're particularly proud to present are Karol Kwasowski from Zakopane, who created The Silent Villa, a total work of art, um, a fairy tale house, handicrafted by himself. Uh, he had a Mauritian genius for ornament and was a real polymath, not unlike Morris in terms of the wide scope of crafts that he experimented with. Another unsung heroine of, of the movement um, was the remarkable poet Maria Pavlikowska Jasnozewska, who was also a very talented artist. She created a remarkable body of watercolors featuring uh, fantastical and macabre uh, elements uh, partially inspired by the peasant material culture. Young Poland, the Polish Arts and Crafts Movement, is an international project which comprises three elements. One of them is uh, the world's first book uh, on, on Young Poland seen from the arts and crafts perspective in any language. The exhibition under the same title will open at the William Morris Gallery and there's also a project website aimed at popularizing the movement. The exhibition will bring to London for the first time such exuberant display of masterpieces of Polish arts and crafts of that period and also will look at the parallels between Polish and British cultures, often unexpected. These peculiar contacts, which are often forgotten or underestimated, has been my academic interest for many years, and I am extremely proud to be able to show the results of this work now in London, thanks to the cooperation with numerous curators and other colleagues who contributed both to the exhibition and to the book. This is the most rewarding curatorial project I've ever worked on, with the best people, the best organizations, colleagues from the William Morris Gallery and colleagues from the National Museum in Kraków, Poland's oldest museum. The project brings together my Polish roots with my British home and my British husband. And uh, it's particularly rewarding being able to illuminate the creative vision of these extraordinary artists on an international arena and to share their art with my British friends.